Jai Shri Ram, welcome to Astrology with Abhilasha. Today we are discussing a topic from Gemini Astrology and we are discussing the concept of Arudh Lagna and how we can see a chart or how we can read a chart from uh, the point of view of Arudh. So first and foremost, I would like to tell you that Gemini is a different system from Parashari and just like in the Parashar system, we consider the ascendant and read the chart from that point. Similarly, in Gemini, Arut Lagna is the point from which we see different houses and different uh, field of life and their results. Now, first and foremost, I should tell you that the word Arut mean to be mounted on, to be ascended, to be risen to be set to a next level, to be elevated. These are the few meaning of the word Aru. It also means to produce. It also means uh, to be risen in the contemporary uh, work field. So you should understand that this is the point which tell you the exact growth in your life. That's why Gemini sees all the Raj Yogas from Arud Lagna itself. If the Arud does not support a planet, you cannot realize the good effect of it. So the support of this Arud is very important. By Arud, we can also understand that it is a stage which we achieve. All right. So this is the stage which we have achieved in this birth. Now, the play of destiny will be seen from this pivotal point. So let's get started and I will be showing you an example chart on the basis of which we will see how to analyze different houses from Arud Lagna. So this is a chart of a very famous film maker, Mr. Satyajit Ray. He is the only Indian film personality who achieved an honorary uh, Academy Award, that is the Oscars. And he was acclaimed globally. He had a trilogy of film, which is still running in top 100 films in the world. So you can understand born and brought up in India, in the year of 1921 and doing all this great work in 1950s take a lot of uh, capability, a lot of uh, conviction to go against the odd, which he did in his life and achieved everything which, uh, which an artist can desire of. All right. So this is his chart. He is an Aries ascendant. But today, as we are talking about the Arud Lagna, and his Arud Lagna is falling in the sign of Gemini. So I will take this house, convert it into the ascendant. And from here, from this point of view, um, we are going to analyze the chart and why he achieved such humongous success uh, which can be very clearly seen as I will analyze the chart along with you all. So first and foremost, um, in Germany, the second house and the 11th house uh, confer all kind of gain, your earning source and fulfillment of all the desires. So here, as we can see, the Lord of Aru, which is Mercury, is going to the 11th house itself. Now this again shows that this person will achieve whatever he desire of. Fulfillment of dreams is assured for this, this person. That is the first parameter. 
Now, we should see the third house from Arud Lagna for the ethics in the person. If we want to judge how ethical a person is, third house from Arud Lagna shows us a clear picture. So here, as we can see, the Lord is son of the third house and it is exalted, which is clearly showing that the person have a robust ethical foundation, which is clearly seen in his life as well, because when he was struggling to accumulate finances for his movies, he did not compromise on his art and he did not took money from any Tom, Dick and Harry and he stuck, he stuck to his own uh, vision and did it whenever he had money without compromising on his ethics. Jupiter placed in the third house and shows it furthermore. Okay. So that is how we can analyze what kind of ethics this person have. The condition around your death is also seen from the third house from Aru. So as I told you that he's the only person who received an Academy Award and it was just few days before his death. So Jupiter here and the exalted Lord of Third uh, shows that it is very much possible that this person around his death receives some uh, stripes, some uh, raise in uh, social status, right? Which is, which is very clear. Now, um, fourth from Arud Lagna shows the disease. But as we can see, it is also the Lagna Lord and it is situated in the 11th house. He had a fairly good life and wasn't very fatally ill up till the end of his life. So that is okay. Now the fifth, the seventh and the uh, ninth house in Germany from Arud Lagna shows the Raja Yogas. So as we can see, the fifth Lord is Venus, which is sitting in the 11th house along with the Arud Lagna Lord and is expecting the fifth house, which is uh, fortifying the fifth house, which is uh, giving strength to the fifth house, which is very uh, important in realizing the Raj Yogas of Acha. Okay, and um, and as we also see, the fifth lord is Vargotha, also in the D nine. So that is again making the case of Raj Yoga very strong. Now, uh, coming to the sixth house, sixth house is seen in Germany from Arud Lagna for uh, the purpose of devotion towards God. So there is nothing very prominent here, though the Lord of Six is expecting it. But I will take up another chart in which I will show you how Six from Arud Lagna works for spirituality. Now coming to the seventh house, uh, the Lord is Jupiter, which is again Vargotam. Okay. And it is again in trine to the Arud Lagna Lord. So it is again making a very good a case of realizing the Raj Yoga. Now, the eighth house is seen for the longevity of the person. As we uh, see, Saturn is the eighth lord and dispositor of this eighth lord is sun, which is exalted. So he had a fairly good long life with all kind of success. And uh, major turnaround events in his life where he was received um, globally with open heart. So that is very important. Now, and he also left a huge legacy which can again be seen from this combination. Now coming to the ninth house. Ninth house in Germany is also seen for Raj Yoga. So as we already discussed the condition of Saturn, which is strong, Saturn is expecting its own house. 
and it is again falling in trine to the Arud Lagna Lord, which is again a very beautiful combination for realizing the Raji Yoga. It is again in combination with the Lord of Seventh as well. Now coming to the 10th house. Now uh, the condition of marriage is seen from the 10th house from Arud Lagna. So as we see that Jupiter is falling in trine, which we already discussed, it is Vargotami as well. So he had a fairly good married life and it was a love marriage and it went really well throughout his life. He had a supportive partner. And a lot of good things actually happened after he got married. That is how the Jupiter showered the prosperity along with the advent of his marriage. 11th house we already discussed and then mass in the 12th house. So this is uh, something very strange that he married his first cousin. Okay, so this is also a point to be taken. More so why? Because So as it is falling in the third house from the 10th house, Mars gives you the courage of doing something which is uh, out of the league. So he married his first cousin that I do not think is very uh, supported in a Hindu family, but he did it and it was a fairly good marriage. So we can conclude it with that. That is how we analyze. This is a fair uh, on uh, first level of understanding of Arud and the houses from it and how we can understand the concept of Raj Yoga in a horoscope which is looking very normal if we see it from uh, the ascendant itself and analyze it through the Parashri system the only thing which is showing uh, fame is that the Lagna Lord is placed in the second house this is a concept of uh, getting enormous fame other than that, there is nothing very great or very uh, prominent in the chart which shows or ensures that this person can go up to the level which is still not uh, surpassed by any other Indian till date. All right. So that is where Gemini comes to our rescue, which is very pinpoint and it cuts through the most difficult chart and show you the real picture. So that is all from my side. Take care.